Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dramic, welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. This is like the first of six videos I'm planning to record today because I need to do some catch up because I've been busy, busy uh, these last few weeks. So I figured, you know what, I've already down the G Fuel today, mainly to feel refreshed. Forgot it would give me a stupid amount of energy, so uh, six back to back recordings should possibly be doable. But yeah, this is the first one, so you guys can treat it to the first video I'm recording on 5 5. But uh, we're back. Last time we built this farm, uh, in the name of just getting a few more melons a bit more efficiently, I've been sitting here waiting for a video I was watching to end, and in all fairness, we ain't doing too bad. But um, as I'm sure you may have gleaned from the <laughs> Almost trampled it there. But as you may have been able to glean from the title of this episode, uh, this episode is about moving villagers. Uh, I think it's a clever title. I, I, I should best around in my head um, after I finish recording, so surprisingly. But um, this episode is about starting to set up for an iron farm. Uh, we were discussing, um, obviously we've got a wall of stuff that we plan to do. And we decided, well, I decided, that an iron farm is likely on the cards if I want to go about building a monorail and some other stuff that's good to sell to villagers and stuff. It's one of the things on there. Um, if we have the time this episode, I would like to make another sign of four. Just, just so it gives us stuff to do, you know? Like, we made this two episodes ago, and the last episode we crossed off the first thing. So it's like, yeah, we kind of need to increase the size a bit. But, um, yeah, as you can see right there, I've got a gold farm as well. But, um, yeah, I ain't going farm right there. So, um, yeah, uh, sleep for it, uh... I've come for just the awful time where I don't think it'll let me sleep. But I'm um, the main. Oh! Call me surprised. But we'll sell these to the villagers, and then we need to figure out a decent plan to extract specific villagers from our little villager breeder area. Because not only will that allow them to like regenerate and stuff if we take them far enough away, but they also need to go far enough away in order for um, our little scheme to work. Ah, too short in the chest. Uh, but first things first, let's go sell to these guys. Um, okay, now this is the guy that's still leveling up. So I got no wheat for you, unfortunately, but I have all the melons. And actually, I'll wait for you to do your little deal with particle effects. Thank you. And damn it, still can't sell them carrots, but I can at least sell him three pumpkins for some emeralds. Anyway, um, yeah, historically, it's been a pain to get these guys in and out of the room, but I think I've got a plan. I did a bit of prep work again. I was watching a video, I was chilling out, and now it's done. And yeah, we get to record him. But I wasn't being entirely unproductive because I got a scheme. See, so I got some sticks in my inventory. Uh, we did smelt some iron last time. So my plan is, obviously, we want to make a monorail. Um, I'm being right idiot. It's, um... Okay, and then... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think it's this, is it not? No, it's the other way around. <laughs> you know, dare to dream. Um, yeah, we need to make a few more sticks. But I'm thinking, obviously, we're going to need a rail for a monorail regardless. But why not just um, take the chance now to go about... Um, I'm an idiot, I needed more iron, not sticks. Doi. Um, yeah, no, I was just thinking we take the chance now to actually start making a tiny bit of that. Because um, obviously, what else do we really need iron for? I would argue not a stupidly high amount, so, yeah. Um, I think a few stacks now should be enough. Only other thing we need to craft, um, I should probably have done that before I started trying to put iron away, is a minecart just to transport the guys. But basically, and my plan is minecart them out and do it in such a way where they can't really escape. And my main thought is use a transparent block as like a blocker for them to walk through, but they won't suffocate them if they go through on the minecart. So that said, do we have any spare glass at all? We do. Okay, now here is my daring little plan. So we're going to keep these, but we're going to pop some glass here. So we're going to put some glass here. In fact, I'm putting some glass here. Then we're going to... Okay, the kids are going to escape, but that's fine. We can, we can actually use that for our advantage later. But we're going to do this, and then uh, we can railroad them out onto wherever we deem fit. And we do also need some powered rail. Um, not sure how we go about making this, actually. Okay, I know I used to give the rest, um, no, it's powered. Um, I used, used to give the recipe book all of grief, but honestly, it, it it's slowly, slowly working its way up in the list of things I like. But, um, no, it's, it, it's helpful, you know? Used to only think I had a place on console, but no, when I am getting old and forgetful like I often do, it helps. <laughs> And we end up with some sticks in here, with some redstone in here, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. got some powdered rails, and would you look at that, we've got some redstone torches to make this ten times more efficient than it would have been otherwise. So, um, that's the plan, basically. Send these guys very quickly, very far away. Um, so obviously we're going to have a little, ah, damn it, okay, we're going to have a little station stop here, and then it's just going to be, we want them to pick up a load of speed and essentially just go off. Um, so, they should probably take this corner quite tightly, but, hang on, I got a plan here. Stick you there, then again, and these guys, I believe, are just just, just getting a bit experimental here, because some could say. Because I want to launch them all the way through here. So, we're going to lay this, and then we're going to start messing with them. Although, hmm, in the name of not letting the kids escape, I may block this up just with 
not only that, but just remove this then. Then they have no chance of escape. But we're basically just going to go out and um, transport them over to our farm area, because I think that's loaded in enough to where um, it should still be generating iron. The main idea is that it's nearby enough, so it's easy to access the loaded in, but um, far enough away to where we don't have to hear it 24-7. Uh, and like the only other thing I could think is that maybe we put it on top of here, but I have a feeling we'd still hear it. I mean, we could. It'd just be a pain to get it up there. I think the farm area is a bit better. Huh, I don't know. Because I kind of need it to be a bit far away. Hmm. Oh, okay, right. You know what? Because this whole episode was about transporting the village. It wasn't about setting up the farm. This is just the preliminary work of transporting the guys that I don't particularly want to trade with or have bad trades. You know, to incentivize their offspring to give me better stuff. But I don't know, we could turn up... Okay, of course there's a zombie up here. Why, when isn't there some sort of mob trying to kill me up here? But... Son of a bitch. Nope. What you deserve. Um, yeah, no, so obviously, directly below here is my bedroom. And I think I might have an area coming out here. But we could, in theory, set something up here. As it stands, it's quite crowded. But we could possibly change the farm to being up here just we'd hear it but I mean that doesn't work because it's 200 blocks high but if we were to have something down here that perhaps fulfilled that role I don't know it's very precarious to build up here is my main thought but I think we're doing this in a roofed forest anyway it's going to be precarious regardless um we could go about clearing away stuff up here if we needed to hmm of course it had to get difficult now Although, we already crafted the rails. Regardless of where we bring them, we could just start trying to bring them up at this point, which is a lot nicer of an incline than whatever the hell I just had to climb up. So in the name of maybe making it a bit more grandiose, and also making the episode take a full, full length to complete, we'll take them through the tunnel anyway. And then, and then we we'll see, it's like, it all works out in the end. Uh, but, uh, let's, so let's keep some momentum going then. Oh, I'll need to remove the doors at the end. Ah, uh, well. Um, we'll start launching you down this way, and then I'm thinking... I think we know what we're all thinking. A few more of these guys. Um, again, I have no idea how many things a powered rail is meant to go for, but that looks like it's gonna make them go fast to me. <laughs> um, although... Fine. <laughs> Wait. No, never mind. We will keep it Kurt turned there, uh, because of the torch, on account of that's where it's closest to the incline, I think. But, um, we should probably put a few more of these powered rails down. I kind of want to save a few more for the, um... That works. I want to save these, like, last few mainly for the incline, because I think that's when they'll need a bit more of the speed. But, go ahead, delete the storm. We'll put it back eventually. Ooh. Fuck was... Oh! Well, fuck you, physics. Oh, yeah, no, I precariously positioned that in such a way, so that was the, the physics behind it. And... Start to turn this back anyway, you effing kidding me. <gasps> okay, well... Oh, this is devious, but I like it. Okay, so... Okay, let's turn these Again, this is kind of logistics-wise, but I'm thinking we... That ain't gonna work, is it? This will, though. <laughs> uh, but I think this should work. And I think the best way to test if it thoroughly does... This might shock you. Is with a test run. Because um, obviously we don't know which way we're taking them. But we'll try and inspect out prospective areas. But, test run. We're just going to see how they go along this. Because if this completely launches them through, mission success. Also, if this launches them through, woohoo! Maybe next episode, instead of going full head with the Iron Farm, we just immediately head off on doing a. Uh, this is all five did to try and do that then. I'll pop you back down. Maybe try and set the other rail going up to the mob grinder. So, we need people to get in here. It's people like you that are unemployed, or you. So, we're gonna pop this down and just see who hops in. Um, so, no, please don't get in. No, you're not allowed. Um, okay, see, so why are you all congregating in this one corner? So, if I was to. No, please don't get in. Get. No, get in minecart, you bastards. <gasps> okay, it's like. <sighs> I can't say I'm surprised, although if this is able to complete a full circuit without anything in, it does indicate to me it works. It's just. I was hoping to double up on the opportunity. Okay, let's just tell me we're gonna maybe put a bit more momentum here. And everything's be fine and dandy. <laughs> Okay, trial two, because in case you don't know, minecarts move further when there's something in them, um, and they don't when there's not. So, can I, okay, one of you guys, I'm going to take these out of my inventory, I'm pure account, it might drive me mental. Um, can I, I just want one of you to get in. Are you employed? No? 
Then what? What? Okay, you okay, need to make sure the Molly important guys doesn't accidentally get teleported out. Because I guarantee it'll be more of a nightmare to get them back than it is to get them in. Um, do you know what? Fine. If you want to congregate in this corner, that's fine. I'll just bring the minecart to you. Get him. And off we go. Okay, so the glass box idea is working. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, God, this is exciting, isn't it? And oh, look at him go. And he hit the next set of powered rails. No issue whatsoever. And oh, joke at that. I think he's going up the hill as well. And oh, would you look who's arrived at his destination? The sun's going down. Shy, so I should have thought of this. Yeah, we should probably just get the area we're going to build this in first, shouldn't we? Hmm. Okay, well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest that farm, I think, on it. Where? It would make more thematic sense to have the iron farmer be here. Right? It would. Because I don't have. Because the one that we had in the previous series was almost always running. And that wasn't too far from the main base. Like, this isn't super far from the main base either. I, I'd argue maybe it's like maybe a chunk or two further away. I don't know. I think simulation distance is an aspect in it, isn't it? Because these. These crops were growing while I was laying down that um, railway and stuff, and while I was presumably in the base. So realistically, if we'd build something a bit nearer by, that might work. So I think, instead of building it near where I might be hearing it, I think actually here may be a bit better of real estate than I initially thought. We just need to deforest here, I think. I think here is the shout. Um, but also, additional really fun thing. Um, oh god, we need to defend this guy. Uh, sh you know, sure, we'll make some planks and just imprison him. It works. Look, it, it works. Actually, we could just sleep very quickly before mobs have the chance to spawn in. Yeah, or, or we unload him. Maybe the simulation distance doesn't cover over here. Have fun. <laughs> okay, okay. I should have taken a minecart back. No, may as well get my uh, mileage out of it, but... Yeah, why not walk? You've got to keep yourself in shape somehow. But, I think we found our location. So if we were to just start transporting these villagers to there... Things should be fine. So the sun's going down. It's about the same time we slept 10 minutes ago. I think we got this. Um, surprisingly well. It's just a matter of getting the rest of them in the carts pushed over into their uh, imprisonment. And then digging this all up. So, we'll finish this guy's first voyage. Because then the rest is just get in, send, break minecart. Get in, send, break minecart. You know, repeat that a few times until we've got enough guys for whatever villager we don't need. Uh, should, we, no, should we keep this in in case we do end up needing more? But, uh, for what it's worth, we're going to... Gonna change track slightly, me and you. And instead, we're gonna go <laughs> this way. And um, really, really fine, fine. Of course, you weren't gonna be on the rail, but I'm um, put you on the rail now. We just need to find a way to get you over there, because we can put him in temporary lodgings and stuff. This isn't gonna work, um, unless it does. Okay, I know I built this like two episodes ago, and I'm already disgracing it. Please have mercy on my soul, but it's like efficient. If this isn't even, even this isn't gonna work. I feel like an idiot because doing this diagonally is just gonna be a very stupid idea. Unless, unless, okay, I've come up with a phenomenal idea right now. You're never gonna believe what it is. Uh, we're just gonna build a bridge, uh, a second bridge that exists for the purpose of carrying minecart. We'll, we'll destroy all this later. Don't worry. It's meant, it's meant to be functional, not pretty. And uh, I think that's lined up. So you know what? In the name of making it, uh, me, it more work for me to disassemble this later, um, pop you there. And I think, you know what? This is going downhill. So, uh, not the recording. Well, maybe. But um, do this, and then he goes up the hill, and then he goes down the hill. Do a turn, and then I'm gonna undo the turn. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I seem so like, spiteful and vindictive. I promise I'm not. I'm just... I don't know what's the word. Feeling the test in my patience from this. I forgot, like, I love making Minecraft tracks. Do not get me wrong. They're one of my favourite things to do. However, they can also proceed to drive me up the wall. And if, also, if this is outside of my render distance... Oh, God, we're going to have to relocate re 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 the whole house, aren't we? But, I think... And then we're going to curve him around. Of course we do. Okay, um, I think we speed him up about here, though. Um, nope. Oh, it's, oh, no, it's pickaxe. Yeah, I'm, I've played this game for years, and I'm still evidently just awful at it. But I'm thinking we just do... Can we do the whole nine here? We can if we destroy one more. I'm thinking we just pop the last nine here and hope the momentum's enough to um, carry it the rest of the way. Yeah, all those powered. Phenomenal. And then... Another improvised bridge. Look, I'm sorry, Turtle. I know this is your natural habitat, and I'm making a villager breeder in it. It will be further in. I'm just making one as close to the coast as possible um, for my own peace of mind. Um, 
Oh, I used all the stuff I made for the shelter with the thing, didn't I? You know what? Let's just put them in a hole in the ground. I think that would be funny. Um, so you just launch off, then you end up in the hole trademark. Uh, do we have a shovel on us? No, we put it, we put it, oh, we do. Well, that's rare. Um, now I'm doing a three by three hole in the ground and we put a lid on it once they're all in. Sounds like a plan to me. And I don't know how we're gonna get in and out, but we'll improvise that as we go along. But if we finish the maiden voyage of this railway and that guy ends up in there, it's a win, it's a win to me at the very least. So you, again, we gotta get some manual, manual force in here, get going. I'm gonna dig these up as we go along, resort this little portion of the track here, and what we doing? Okay, do a little bit more, a little bit more, and into the hole. Hey, and we still got some daylight left, so we are far from being over with this. Although, oh, he wants to leave, he wants to go back home. <laughs> oh, if only he knew. Nope, nope, you're staying in there. And you, oh, I mean, it would be, it would be rude of me to, not ride the rail car track for myself at this point, you know? It's like, I've put all this effort in. I deserve to ride it. Oh, oh! I forget how loud railroads can be. If this game sounds until this point in the episode sounded quieter than usual, now you know why. <laughs> okay, what this worth? This is quite quick, and considering how, like, I'm gonna say few resources, but, like, how less resources than I was anticipating to use got used, it's like, I don't mind it. No, please don't get in, Master Farmer. Um, I like you. Um, so one of you should just walk. It's fucking raining. Are you kidding me? Right, we need to put a lid on there ASAP. Um, in case you don't know, mobs spawn when it rains. Is it not raining out there anymore? No, it is. Okay, it is. It's just the particle effects don't exist until you get close to uh, when it would make sense to display them. Yeah, we need to put a lid on that guy ASAP. It's like, look, I'm sorry. I know I've just ripped you from all your friends and family, but I swear at this point, this is something I'm actually doing for your own good. Because <laughs> everything else until this point, I clearly have not been. Um, we should just put, put a nice little lid on it. You know, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Look, you'll get natural sunlight in a bit. I just can do without you dying for the time being, you know? And we'll, we'll open this up when the next villager gets here, and we'll just we'll just kind of slip them in through the lid as and when it makes sense. <laughs> of course it had to rain! It was like we had more minutes than I was reasonably expecting to left to get this to work. And then it rains. It's like, it, it had to. It had to, to make this a bit more annoying. It's like, part of me wants to do the sign now. But also, part of me is so angry at the fact it decided to rain. I want to persevere through the rain and get these villagers transport- the, not, the fact's not if you took the chance to leave is a miracle. They wish you could have walked out and... Sure, they could have... Wish you just walked out and gone. Okay, they could have. They, they didn't, evidently. Uh, but, okay, let's see. Who do we want to kidnap? Are you... Oh, you're unemployed. Phenomenal. You're my favourite type of vol will unwilling volunteer. Well, you are... Nope, 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 nope. And I'll have to get open as well. This is really not the best episode for me, is it? Part of me is tempted to make a second minecart, but part of me thinks that's admitting defeat and uh, it's just gone the entire world to make a second minecart. Because <laughs> then we can do two at once. And I'm only slight- actually, because then if we have two, if I get it right, I can fall behind them, and if I get it wrong, second chance. God, sometimes my genius, it's almost frightening. Uh, but, who do we want to kidnap? I think- okay, I think these eligible bachelorettes here. Uh, you all have birds talking to each other. Not anymore. You're my unwilling volunteer. And see that? Okay, for once it's taking off and I want to follow behind you. If only I had my own minecart. Okay, that makes two. Okay, I don't know how many you need for a villager breeder. Um, the, I think I'll take four is a nice cursory amount. Because then maybe, you know, maybe, maybe they're designed to neck on with each other. Maybe they're not. And you, oh, no, you're not. Okay, sorry. If we got blasted back by colliding with that, that would have been really funny, but really annoying. But we're just going to do a bit of this. Do a bit of that. Um, yeah, natural sun slash air. How's it feel? You got, you got a new companion. You got a new companion, and he's in the hole. <laughs> okay, this is. It feels real. Ah ha ha! See, see, I plan for success. You plan on the eventuality I mess up, which I'm pretty sure I'll have to get open again. But I'm outpacing you. Just watch me. <gasps> oh, it's so. Uh, oh, did I accidentally suffocate the turtle? Okay, no, the turtle's fine. The turtle's fine. We live, we laugh, we love. Yeah ha ha. Okay, so two more, and if we can put them both in minecarts, amazing. If it would stop raining, that'd be even better, though. Um, it is, it is due to be nighttime in like two minutes, so there's a chance. Oh no, get him, get him! You perfectly. No. 
you were perfectly lined up for that. Right, you can go. You can go. You can go. And you're... I, okay, you're not... Okay, now you're not employed. Phenomenal. Honestly, as much of a disaster as maybe some of the minecart antics this episode have been, it's been less disastrous than I thought. Oh my god, the zombie won't have deloaded. Okay, okay, okay. I don't do that often. I don't do this often in this thing, so you know it's... Alright. Just, just keep going. Okay. Um, why'd you stop? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the fact he's still loaded in indicates to me that, yes, this area should be sufficient enough to stay loaded in for, um, well, villager stuff and the like. But uh, we're going to just remove these three again. Hi, guys. It's the natural world. Have you missed it? You're not going to be seeing it for much longer, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Um, well, nope, nope. If I keep you, son of a bitch. Get him. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Nope, just... Oh. Oh, fucking hell! No, 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 no. No, why the fuck did you spawn? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, why the hell have you spawned then? No, 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 no. No, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Why the hell did he spawn in? There was only three of them. You're in here, aren't you? Drown. 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 Seriously, drown. Are you guys gonna keep... You're gonna say that permanently wanting to kill me. You're gonna say that permanently wanting to kill me. I have depth strider. Uh, that might help, but I can I This might make things a whole lot more difficult going forward. I just hope this counts as a separate village to the one at home. Of course this bloody happens when it's raining, but at least the shaders look nice. Oh god, if a zombie got in there, that would have been the end. Look, um, I can't trade with any of you because none of you have jobs. That may make things a bit more difficult at home. Depending on... Okay, now I think about it, this is quite far away from the regular village. This was meant to be an easy episode. But all of a sudden, I'm slightly too nervous now that at some point, you're not going to like me. Seem fine with me. If this is the last fucking episode, just after I make the ideas board of everything else we're gonna do, not a chance. Not a chance. But, if any more Angolans spawn in the farm that don't like me, oh, because in case you don't know, villagers have like a reputation system and it goes up and down. But does this count as a separate. I won. Oh, I, mean, look, I mean, you're doing the job for me at this point, mate. Um, so can you like. No, 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 your free your freedom is an illusion. Are you I can't tell if you want to kill me or not. Um Get in. Thank you. And then we just do a bit of rework in here. I mean look, it's working somehow. Um so that was the third one we just transport oh no, we fucked up the third trans- I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna put myself in here with you. I have the other rail. This guy doesn't seem to want to kill me, which implies that yes, we succeeded in making that a separate village, which is one of the main things I uh, needed to ensure I could do. And then, oh, oh, well, oopsies. I should probably put that redstone torch back down there. Send you off on the way, and send you off on the way as well. And then we'll, uh, we'll rework this. Oh, do we really need to rework it? Ah, uh, sure, yeah, we should. Um, just in case we need to move more along at a later date. But as it sounds right now, we've got a hole in the ground with some guys in. It just so happens that the hole in the ground with the guys in may now want to kill me as I kill the villager. Ooh. Still, that's quota. That's quota. That's four transported. We just have to goddamn hope and pray another Iron Golem doesn't spawn in. If he does, that's it. That's like game, set, match. Okay, um, 
We're just going to push you both in in the minecart and break it once you're in. Get in. Get in. Wait, oh. Thank you. And then get in again. Oh, he's shaking. Oh, he doesn't want to go into eternal servitude. Too, too fucking bad. So. What an episode, eh? Like, I'm... taken back so that's like deeply profound I'm slightly concerned now though that my reputation in that village is in before and that the iron golems may want to kill me like yes I'm transporting those guys there to kill iron golems so if the iron golems kill me before I automate the killing of the iron golems we have a problem still for what it sounds right now not entirely broken that counts as a separate village you notice how the clothes changed good good for me good for me just need some beds and stuff to officiate it when we actually make the spawn but before it, how it is now those guys are in the hole. That's what matters. It's just, I I kind of need to test in the field if the Iron Golems spawning will still hate me or if that's something that depreciates over time. Oh, oh, it's not it's not good, that. It's not good. But they're in there. And we just have to talk now. Guys in there, repopulate, what have you. Uh, if you need to transport more, then so be it. It looks so ugly with this setup, but it is what it is. But we just gotta hope we don't get caught whacking any time we pass there. Or if one spawns in and makes its way over while we're at the farm. Because if we do... That's the end of the series. So, um... Well, not messing it up is kind of the name of the game. Ooh. Tense ending, though, I'll admit. But fortunately, it seems like our own Iron Golem. Fine with us, for now. But, uh, I'm gonna win this one here. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. Let me know you want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And until next time, which hopefully isn't the last time, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ramic, and peace out.